make the bed when someone does. Oh, you're going to get up now? Okay. No, not quite. <laughs> He'll move as soon as I leave the room. Mind you, he's left. <laughs> well, a bit lumpy, bumpy bed today now, but that's okay. Have a look. I didn't bring a basket up for Kevin's suitcase. What's Daddy got in here? Uh, that's all his stuff. I think we'll um, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow when Daddy's home. Okay, let's get you some breakfast. He didn't come up. <laughs> Taking a long time to come down the stairs, doesn't it, Gino? Time to have some breakfast now. I've still got some fried rice from the other night, so I'll be finishing that off for my brekkie. That's nice not to have to worry about it. And food processor, food processor update. Uh, the motor has blown up. Oh my gosh. Why every time I start vlogging, do they all decide they need a drink? And the water is always there. It's the golden at the moment. And they're noisy. Um, anyway, so I was looking around at new ones, but to get a really good one that will do sort of all I want it to do, they're like $800. So pretty pricey. Um, and then I, the, but more than the price actually really is, I hate the fact that that'll just go off to landfill. I think I don't know what you can do with them. That's what I was googling, and then what to do with old food processors. And then I come across a website that talked about replacing the motor. I thought Kevin's very handy with electrical stuff because his dad was an electrician, so maybe that's something that we could do. So I've sent the link off to Kevin, and he's going to investigate whether we can get the parts for it. I guess that'll be the thing. Um, so yeah, hopefully we might be able to just replace the motor. And then we've bought all the stuff for it still so it's obviously not as good a quality one as that new one but i don't want to i'm not going to replace it just because the new ones are better better i mean it's better and it has a five year warranty i think on the motor that one would not be five years old i don't think you lose track of time of when you get things so possibly it is that sort of age but anyway if we can fix it that is good so i'll sort of put it put it over there i'm going to give it a good clean i think well yeah, so I was going to give it a bit of a clean. It needs a wipe down. So that I'll do that. The cupboard needs a wipe down. So I'm going to try and do that later on. I'm trying not to spend too much time on my feet today because my feet more than my hip are giving me grief. Like it's a little bit niggly the hip, and obviously I'm told not to stretch it and things like that. So I don't know what to stretch that part. I think bending over when I do a lot of that to pick up things off the ground or get things out of low cupboards. But I'm just being very careful. I guess is all I can do. It doesn't look like it's been bleeding. There's a big padding on it, but they said it gets more than 50% full of blood to go back in and they'll redress it, but there's nothing. It looks, looks pretty good so far. Uh, so yeah, so I've got the last of this fried rice. And I had the idea the other day, which I'm making fried rice, I thought I should try making my own help for breakfast. I just, I don't know, I get sick of oats and I get sick of like traditional breakfast foods <laughs> and try not to have too much bread, which is obviously the other thing to have is toast. Um, I thought I could make that, and then I remembered I also used to like to have mashed potatoes with a corn chowder on top, which sounds really odd for breakfast, but I was used to really enjoy that. So I might work some of that up as well. <laughs> One or the other, I think. I'll check back in with you a bit later on. We've got a bit of stuff to do. Most of it is sitting down, luckily, and then we'll see about food stuff. It's, I'm not hot again because just not that I had a shower, but I'm still hot. Must just be the effort of getting ready and whatnot. And I don't know. It's probably still a bit steamy because of the, of the dew on the ground and stuff. The grass looks all wet even though it's not rained. There's still a lot of moisture in the air. So 
it's probably just that. I do look forward to some non-humid times ahead. <laughs> As you can see, I've just been down a few things. I hung out the washing, picked up after the dogs, and then tidied the laundry. And I don't know how long I'm on my feet for, but they're killing me again. Um, particularly the sore ankle. And my hips are a bit niggly, so I've just taken another Panadine. I took one when I woke up. So that's probably about right. It's just over every six hours. So the Panadine's obviously working really well, because <laughs> that's when they say to take it again. So done that, I've packed, I'm well not packed, I've got myself a healthy snack. Um, trying to just gradually replace bad habits that I developed into better habits. So I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I've been trying to do that just since we come back from from Cairns anyway. So we'll we'll get there. <laughs> get back on track with the more plant-based, less processed junky foods. But yeah, I'm just trying to do what I can at the moment, because obviously I'm not. Um, fully capable of everything but yeah I feel like I've had a, a good eating day so far um, yeah I just wish that my feet didn't get so sore so quick so I've got a few sit down jobs I can do I have a little break now watch some YouTube motivating YouTube <laughs> I watched some good ones this morning I was really motivated this morning where he tied up the kitchen and um, I don't know I did some things in the kitchen cleaned up did a bit of washing up tidied a bit needs more but I've done some so I'll start I've got some bills to claim from Medicare so I can do that sitting down and I think besides any kitchen work I think that's most of my jobs sort of stand-up jobs done I will try and yeah I'll try and probably do a bit more in the kitchen later on but other than I've got like a basket to empty that I filled up upstairs the other day I've got that to empty um, Got medication still to refill that should be done on Monday and I haven't done it. I just keep putting it off each day uh, but I will get to that that's high on the list for today because I want to clear it off the table anyway I'll show you my snack and then I'm have my little break time so here's my little snack I've got some hummus and some of the chopped vegetables from yesterday carrot cucumber and a little bit of capsicum so rather than have the dip having hummus because obviously there's nothing wrong with that hummus at all for me to have that's totally healthy i've got some water okay i've got the last of our trip um exporting now and i'm going to work on some medicare claims just gonna make some bolognese for dinner tonight so i've got this i think i've used this before for bolognese hope so <laughs> hope it's all right and um just got some extra vegetables oh, that's the sauce that i had in the fridge i'm going to chop up some spinach and put that in as well I'll cook that now and then I'll cook the pasta later on. Kevin's meds and supplements refilled for the week so get all that put away now so there's today's salad yesterday's salad was lacking in something 
or I'm just not used to the taste again now after having mango and mayonnaise on my salad for so long. Um, but I'm trying to get back to my vegan cheese sauce, which is, you know, homemade and nothing bad in it. But I, so I added the onion into the air fry with potatoes and then I thought, it's still something missing and I thought beetroot. Didn't add pineapple yet, but we'll see how it goes with the beetroot. Just because I've only got big cans of pineapple to open and not small ones and I don't know if we'll get through it before it's, it goes bad. So we'll just treat it with the pineapple and the onion added today. No, beetroot and pineapple. Beetroot and onion added today. <laughs> and see if that's better. It's raining. I'm not very fast to get up. Oh, okay, all my clothes seem to be alright. I'll bring them in quickly. I don't know where that came from. That was not forecast. KitchenAid sadly and I'll see if I can find out what can be done with it. Mr. Bailey wants a shortcut out to the bathroom. So I'll let him out that way you can walk around the other way. <laughs> I've got the footprints from the mud from the other day. I'll let you out that way but you've got to come around the long way to get some exercise. Anyone else going out? He's coming the other way though. Oh gosh they're all coming now. Are you coming too Rosie? They just had dinner and after dinner they like to go to the bathroom especially the Goldens. All right, come back in the other way when you're ready. Looks funny, you can see the shadows out there. <laughs> there he is, you're back in already. <laughs> so Kev's home. My new puzzles that I ordered the other day, they came really quick, really quick. So I've got 1,001 because I love these sort of ones. So I had to get that like the shelf ones. I really find them really fun to do. And they're hard to find. So anyway, and that was on sale. I think that was on sale as well. Maybe not, but I can't remember. But these ones were. The 500 piece ones were like almost half price. 40% off I think they were. So I've got that. I've got another shelf one. As I said, I like the shelf ones. I just don't like paying full price for the 500 pieces. So I've got a few that are a bit different for me. Like these ones are a bit different. Um, but I thought that'd be fun. Anyway, my, my stockpile has um, increased. Definitely don't need more puzzles for a while. So dogs have had dinner. I've just put the water on to boil for our dinner. I'm just gonna try and get this tidied up. some shell pasta and the bolognese sauce and Kevin's got normal cheese I've got vegan cheese there's another serve if he wants to have a little bit more um, he said he wasn't very hungry so I'm a bit scared of the bolognese but I think I made it tasty enough <laughs> I'm not a real fan of the texture of that fake beef though but anyway I've got two packets to use up I've had them for ages so I'm using things up <laughs> even though I said I wasn't had much processed food I'm trying to use up what we do have as well. Okay, the bed has had a brush. He's all nice and fluffy now. Look a bit love now, Coda Bear. Look at that little face now. And the legs. You're looking good. Look how he's even back again in a day or two. 